After 25 years without a home playoff game, the Buffalo Bills will play in front of fans next weekend. Good evening, everyone. I'm Claudine Ewing. COVID numbers, however, are on the rise once again. So what should you be thinking about if you're watching from home or from the stadium? Two on your side's Jackie Roberts has the story. Next weekend, Bill Stadium will once again have fans in the stands and the first home playoff game is already sold out. We've been waiting for years for this, so it's just like we are so happy we're going on. We'll be like my kids on, you know, last week on Christmas, not being able to sleep too much the night before. 6,700 fans are allowed to attend. Admission is contingent upon a negative test result with contact tracing to follow. Infectious disease expert Dr. Thomas Russo believes it's a good plan. They're going to be screening the fans and though testing is not perfect, testing combined with all the public health measures in place and the outdoor venue I think portends where it's going to be a relatively safe event. Obviously, the risk is not going to be zero, uh, but with the plan in place, uh, I think that risk will be minimized. Dr. Russo says he's more concerned about the people who may be gathering with friends at home to watch the game rather than those watching in person. That's for several reasons, including the fact that, of course, fans in the stadium will be outdoors. Dr. Russo says the virus will be more easily dispersed, and he says, as we learned from last summer, you're less likely to get infected in an outdoor setting. Whereas indoors, and particularly in private homes, when ventilation is poor, uh, infection is much more likely. So he's warning against gathering indoors with friends and family from different households and social bubbles. He says those settings can be high risk for COVID-19 and despite our temptation, we should try to avoid them. In Orchard Park, Jackie Roberts, Channel 2 News.